Wow. Uh, sorry. This is my favorites for August 2011. Let's just get into it. Um, first we have Active Child with You Are All I See. One of the greatest indie pop albums, debut albums of the year, if not of all time. Um, the lead singer's voice is just disarming. One of the cleanest sounds you'll possibly you'll probably ever hear. Um, and the music just complements it perfectly. Next we have Doug Benson with Potty Mouth. And that title is, you know, it works as a double entendre. He's pretty filthy on the mic. And uh, he's a pothead. He professes to it. But uh, it's one of the best uh, comedy releases you'll hear all year. You know, Louis C.K. is still going to be my number one pick for comedy album of the year. So. Doesn't take anything away from this, it's just two different styles. Uh, next we have Lenny Kravitz with Black and White America. Uh, Lenny, t Lenny is one of the best uh, synthesizers of music. Uh, he takes from Prince here, takes from Curtis Mayfield, takes from all his influences and makes it his own. Um, one of the best rock albums you'll listen to all year. Sounds like he's going back to Let Love Rule and Mama Said, you know, back when he came out in the 90s. Um, but yeah, he's still relevant, at least in my opinion, and uh, this, this uh, album proves it. Next we have Mariachi El Bronx with Mariachi El Bronx 2. Um, this is it's hardcore, but it's uh, Latin. It's a lot of stuff to it. Uh, it's one of the best indie albums of the year. And uh, if this isn't on certain people's list, then there must be smoking something. Maybe Doug Benson gave it to him. <laughs> I don't know. But yes, you need to check it out. Um, because everything works so perfectly on this release. You can listen to it front to back and not skip anything. There is no weak track on this album, according to me. Next, we have Mickey Newberry with an American Trilogy. This showcases... Uh, three of his albums and our disc of rarities and outtakes uh, Frisco Mabel Joy uh, God Help the Child and it's another album I can't remember offhand I'm tired but uh, this is one of the most moving country uh, compilation box sets you'll probably listen to all year um, he was known as writing songs from everyone from Johnny Cash I can't remember all the names right now, but he was known more as a writer than a performer, and he should have gotten his credit as a performer, because this album just blew me away when I listened to it. Well, all three albums <laughs> blew me away. They play them consecutively, and you'll have, you'll just, uh, just sit in awe. That's basically how I felt. Um, next we have Stephen Malkmus and the Jicks with Mirror Traffic. Pavement reunited in 2010, and uh, some of it bleeds into this record, but this is all Stephen Malkmus, and this is his most successful solo outing to date. Check it out. It seems lazy, but if you listen to Pavement and any of his other stuff, yeah, some of it does seem lazy, but that's his style. I think it's great. That's just me. Um, next we have the Cool Kids with When Fish Ride Bicycles. Mickey Rocks and Chuck English are some of the coolest God-based swag, whatever you want to call it, uh, MCs that you will hear all year. Um, between Bake Sale and this, we shouldn't have had to wait so long, but it was worth the wait. It's one of those albums that's worth the wait. Weight as in W A I T and weight as in L B, you know, pounds. <laughs> I'm tired. I told you. Um, check it out. Um, these dudes just sound like they don't care, and all that, all the songs, the beats, and everything just work brilliantly. It's incredible. Lastly, for my favorite album of the month of two uh, of August 
2011, we have Boston spaceships with leather beard. Yeah, you know, look at my beard. Why wouldn't I pick that? And it's not because I'm biased and I have a beard. No, it's because Robert Pollard from Guided by Voices has made his most successful solo album to date outside of Guided by Voices. Um, he has people pushing him to make better art in the studio with when you bring in Jay Massis from Dinosaur Jr., uh, some of the guys from Wire, and you bring in guys who make classic rock and hardcore stuff and punk stuff. How can you lose? Um, this is a 26 sprawling song epic. It's just all over the spot. It's not fragments of songs like he would do with Guided by Voices. This is his own vision. And uh, come follow it. You know, enjoy it. Because I don't know how many uh, albums like this will come along this year. Anyway, that is it. I'm going to take my winter vacation. I'm going to hibernate for a few months or something. Thank you for watching Rocky Music Reviews. I'll see you guys next time.